You can see the RBG value of the surrounding light in the phone's display. Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In our previous tutorial, we saw how to set up a basic AR scene and how to detect planes using AR foundation in Unity. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to estimate the surrounding lights. Now the data of the surrounding lights is totally dependent on your device. Even though AR Core and AR Kit is supported on a wide range of devices, not all devices are able to capture all color data. For example, most of the phones can capture the brightness value, but they cannot give you the RGB value. So if you want the color data for red, green and blue, so you will have to use the brightness and compute the RBG value from that. Now we will also be seeing how to know what data your phone is returning so that you can use that data to compute other values of the surrounding light. So to get started, we are using the same old scene from our last tutorial. So if you have not seen our last tutorial and you have no idea how AR Foundation works in Unity, please check out that video first before proceeding with this. So I have a direction light, uh, AR Session Origin and AR Session in my scene. So inside the AR Session Origin, I have the AR camera. And if you scroll down in the AR camera, you'll find a script called AR Camera Manager. And inside that, there'll be a light estimation option. So you need to enable this to everything because we are not sure what your phone returns. So just set to everything. And the basic direction will be world if you want to use the back camera and it will be user if you want to use the front camera. So we'll be using the world option in this tutorial. Now the script required to get the light data should be attached to your direction light because the light data from your actual surroundings will be fed to the direction light in Unity. So let's go ahead and create a script in our direction light. So click on add component and I'm going to call the script estimate light new script create an add so let me open the script for editing so I don't need these two using namespace okay but I do require using unity engine dot xr dot ar foundation okay so inside that, first I need the AR camera manager. So I'm going to say AR camera manager and I'm going to call this AR cam man. Next, I need the light. So let's call it our light. Okay. And inside this start, we need to get the our light component. Thing, just say light. Uh, since AR cam manager is not attached to our direction light, let's make it public so that we can just drag and drop in our Unity editor. Okay, so we have our light now, we have the AR cam camera manager. Now we should check whether the AR frames are received and then we'll subscribe to a function which is called when the frames are received. So let's go ahead and make an void on enable. So this script is called when the game object is enabled. So inside that we are going to say AR man dot frame received and to subscribe to an event. So this is basically an AR event. So you just have to say plus equal to and will subscribe to a function called get light so this will call a function get light when it receives an ar frame so since there is no function called get light it is giving an error so we'll be creating the get light function whenever you subscribe to an event you have to make sure that you also unsubscribe to the event so let's say void on disable and we are going to say ar cam man dot frame received minus equal to get light. So now we are subscribing to the event on when the script is enabled and we are unsubscribing to the event when the script is disabled. 
now we don't require the update so let's remove the update you don't require this comment also now we need right and get right so that's the function name and any AR functions that you subscribe to should take should take the argument of type AR camera frame event arguments then you can give any variable name i'm going to call it args so inside that what we're going to say is since we don't know what your phone is returning we're just going to say debug dot log arc dot light estimation so dot main light okay we'll just see We'll just say light estimation and see what value we get. So now our script is ready. So this, this script will basically get the light estimation data from our phone. Now the debug statement will not be printed on your console since the AR app will be running on your phone. So we need something to display the debug data. So let's go to window package manager and search for logcat. So the Android logcat package is here and in case you don't see this in your package manager then just put a comment below and i'll make a separate tutorial on how to install the android logcat so i'll install this package to my project now that's done now we have the direction light script we need the ar camera manager so just drag and drop your ar camera here so it will take the ar camera manager Okay, so now everything is set. Just let's save the scene. Go to build settings. And let's click on build and run. So I've selected my device here. So I'm going to click on build and run. So this will build the scene. Yes, replace. So now the app is getting deployed to my phone. And the app is starting. So you can see some average brightness, color temperature, everything is getting displayed. So let's stop the app and let's see what is happening. Okay, I've stopped the app in my phone. So let's go here and see. Okay, I'm not getting average brightness. I'm not getting average color temperature, no color correction data, no average intensity in lumens. What I'm getting is main light direction and main light channel intensity. Okay, so I'm getting all main light data. And other than that, I'm not getting any other data. So I can use the main light data to get all the other values like brightness and X other things. So now that we know what data we are getting from our phone, now it's time to display the brightness using the available data. So let's go back to our script. Now, before going to the script, we need to add a text object. So let's go to UI text. And let's call it brightness, sorry, brightness display. Okay. So the older version of Unity used to use the normal text and in the new version, Text Mesh Pro is the default option. So if you don't want to use Text Mesh Pro, you can just go to UI, Legacy, and Text. So it's totally up to you which one you want to use. I generally prefer Text Mesh Pro because it has a lot of font formatting options. So now that we have added our text, let's go to the script. So since we are going to be displaying the text, we need to have using tm pro okay and here we're going to say public tmd underscore text and we're going to call this bright brightness sorry b-r-i-g-h-t okay brightness 
So we have our text. And here, we first we are going to check if arg dot light estimation dot main light color has value. So that means we're checking whether the main light color has value, but we have already used Android Logcat to know which component has the color value and it was main light. So inside this, first what we are going to say is we are going to display the right uh, color value onto our brightness. So we are just going to say uh, brightness dot text is equal to put on the dollar symbol. This is basically converting the color value into a string. And inside double quotes, we are going to say brightness. Actually, it's not brightness, it's the color value. And we're going to say colon. And inside curly braces, we're going to say args. args dot light estimation dot main light color dot value semicolon and also we are going to say our light dot color is equal to args dot light estimation dot main light color dot value okay i'm sorry that it will be dot okay so that's it let's go back to unity and play oh we can't play our game since this is augmented reality you have to play it on your device so let's save the scene and since we added a public text into our script so we need to assign that text okay so let's go ahead save it again and let's say build and run you can see the rbg value of the surrounding light in the phone's display now this is basically the color value now to get the display of the brightness we need to use the color value to compute the brightness so you have to say float let's say average brightness is equal to now this is the formula for calculating luminance now since we have the rgb value which is our power light dot color dot r let's just copy this and let's paste it here and let's say rgb okay so it's returning okay you're saying we're converting from a float to double so that's because you have to say nf here okay so now it's all okay so now we have the average brightness value so we can just say we don't need this and we'll say brightness dot text is equal to average brightness dot to string that's it now we are getting the color value and finding out the brightness from the from the color value now if your phone basically gives the average brightness by default which we can check using the android log kit and if that is the case then you don't have to do this computation you can directly just say args dot light estimation dot average brightness dot value So this is how it looks on the phone. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any other question regarding light estimation, you can leave them in the comment box below. In the next tutorial, we'll be seeing how to place objects on the detected planes. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.